Good morning, I'm Mary Ellen from the channel Mary Ellen After 60. And I've been getting a lot of questions about powder foundations and how I apply them and what brands I use. Well, I just use what I have and I'm also going to announce a couple of giveaway winners. I have four powder foundations and I'll go through with, with you what I have. I have the It Cosmetics Celebration Foundation in medium beige. I have the Celebration Foundation uh, Illumination in light. The Laura Geller Balance and Brighten, and this one is in regular. And Laura Geller Balance and Brighten in light. And then I have two others. I have the CC Plus Foundation, Powder Foundation in medium. And I also have the Bye Bye Foundation in light. And if I list these below, I think there's one that I did not purchase myself. And if it's something I didn't purchase myself that was given to me by the company, I always put a star by it. So if you see a star by it, you know that was given to me by the company. But there may be just one. So what I'm going to do today, I'm going to put my, I call it my camera, but it's my phone. I'm going to put it on my table and put it close to my face. I had one side of my makeup done before I started filming the up close one and I, I hope you find it helpful. I don't ever do any really dramatic looks. I really like to try to use the least amount of product that I possibly can and get the best results that I can. And I'm going to go ahead and get started. Okay, this side of my face is done, even to my lips. And I'm going to go ahead and do this side to match this side. And over here, I don't have on, well, I have on mascara. And the sunscreen I have on is the Dermatology Broad Spectrum 45. It has no tint because I didn't want to, you know, make my powder foundation look better than it needed to be. It's just, this is just a real basic, not necessarily quick, because sometimes if I want to get a, just a real nice sheer cover, it isn't always Quick. So I'm going to go ahead and get started and today I'm going to use the It Celebration Foundation and I'm going to have to use two because when I did this side of my face it was too dark under my eyes but I'm going to go ahead and do it exactly like I did. And since I have the phone probably 10 inches from my face it's on my table so I hope I don't shake it much but there's a chance I will. And I'm using this brush and I don't know the name of it. I purchased this from Macy's, but I have some of the older ones from It Cosmetics that have the silver handle, and I like them both the same. So I'm going to use this end and this just to make it simple. And this is what I'm going to use all over my face. And it's right there. It's the medium beige and the Celebration Foundation. I did the wrong side of my face. I should have done this side. I should have done this side. Anyway, we're just going to see. Do you see how dark that area is there? And it's not dark over here as dark. I'm going to go ahead and get started with this and put it over here. I guess I'll have to put my mirror here. Then I'm going to pat it underneath this eye and under here. And the next place I'm going to go is right above my eyebrow. For some reason, powder foundation doesn't want to stick in that area, and I don't have any reason why. It just doesn't. And I don't use a primer. This is just on after my skincare and my sunscreen. The other area is right in here. And as soon as I get this done, I'm going to put the other part of my lipstick on. And I'm still using the small end. This area has a lot of redness and pores, so I really want to make sure I bounce that in really well there. And I usually just use it most on the, not on the parameter of my face, but the areas that need it most, then I blend it out. But any brush like this works really well. I tell you, I have loved makeup all my life. And I was thinking this morning that I can owe that to my oldest sister. She's a little over six years older than I am. And she would bring me all sorts of makeup. 
and I kind of missed for a while there from my early teenage years till after I got married and had children, I really missed the drugstore makeup because she was supplying me with some really good stuff. And this is the jelly lip gloss I talked about in a video some time ago, but I just really still like it and it feels so good. Okay, I've got my lipstick on. Now I'm going to go ahead and finish my face. Now I'm going to bounce it in here. Just bounce it in and start bouncing it on my face. And it might be easy, just easier for me to use. Whoops, I don't want to go on the other side. That was so hard this morning when I put that half of my makeup on. That was so hard not to do both sides. You know what I forgot to do? I forgot to put my blush on. I'm going to see if it works over foundation because I use my blush bomb by hard. No, it's by Flower Beauty. This may not work. I'm going to go ahead and try just a tiny dot. That might be too much. I don't know. We're going to see. And I've got a towel here. We'll see what it looks like over foundation. And I like to bring, I still like to do it the old fashioned way. Bring it across the bridge of my nose, still put it on my cheeks. I'm going to let it dry a little bit, and I still have a bunch on my hand. I think it's dry now. So I'm going to just put this all over the inside of my face. And I try not to pull and tug at my skin, I really do. I see a spot I miss completely. I probably missed a lot of spots, but it's not thick enough right in here. It's not thick enough that if you miss something, it's it's going to be okay. So if you're still here, I'm going to finish my eyeshadow. And this is the palette that I used. And it's the only palette I've purchased this year. And I'm going to use four of my Eco Tool brushes. I know in the past couple of years. I know I've bought 30 of these to do as giveaways, but what I like about these, they're less than $10. You get five brushes and I can do a whole eye look with them and they're easy to clean. I've, I've had mine for over a year and I really like them, but I'm going to start with this brush right here and I'm going to put some eyeshadow on my lid. And what I have on my lid, lid right now is an eye primer that you cannot buy. It is one that is, is not opaque. And I have to have an eyelid primer. I can't use concealer. I can't use foundation. If I do, it will all end up right there. And it's been this way my whole life. I used to have to carry my eyeshadow with me because after about three or four hours, I would have like a row of eyeshadow there. And primers have not been around all that long. The first one I remember was from Lancome. And I know that was 10 or 15 years ago. But I had to I had to reapply my eyeshadows. And since I found the world of primers, I don't. And I will recommend one to you that I think is really good. And it is by Milani. And I heard about that from Emily Noel 83. And I bought some and I like it. And when I'm done with what I've got to use up, I'm going to use it. But I'm going to use this brush and I am going to go into Pixie and I will put a number up there. This is number one. And I'm going to be very careful and just place it on my eyelids. I'm going to clean it off and then I'm going to put haze in the corner just right here. I'm going to take a clean brush like this. And if I get any in my mascara, I can clean it off when I'm done. So I'm just going to kind of smooth this out. Then I'm going to take this brush and then I'm going to go into Soul. And I'm going to try to make these eye, eyes match. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to dab it right here and dab it right here on the tip. And then I'm just going to go like this. And I got too much. These Gin Nude shadows are really good. They're by Bare Minerals. And I'm going to work on that a minute and I'll be right back. I just added some more to this side because I thought that would be easier. But I'm going to go back into that color with this little round brush. 
and I'm going to get this area right here. I'm going to use this brush again and I'm going to go into Pixie. I don't usually have to do this, but I want to get that smoothed out a little bit. So therefore I need to do it on this side too. And then I'm going to go back to the little short flat brush and then I'm going to add some Soho to the corner. And this is a very beautiful, kind of a glimmery color. It's got a little glitter, but not chunks. And just dab it on there. I'm also going to use this little round brush and put some color underneath my eyes right here. You know, I have permanent eyeliner. And then this pointed brush. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put a little bit of the dark stargazer in the very corner. And I'm hoping just to bring up the side of my eyelid to make it look a little bit more higher. And I'll do it a little bit more higher. I want it to look a little bit more lifted. You know something I forgot to do? I just went into my dressing room and put on my navy eyeliner and my upper water line. But anyway, that is my easy powder look. And uh, we'll find out if the, the flower blush balm lasts over powder foundation as well as it did under. I did forget one step when I was filming. I forgot to make these eyes even. And how I did that was I used the IT Celebration Foundation and Illumination. And I just use the end of this. I will use the end of this and I'll put it underneath this eye so it'll make it look more balanced. If you aren't interested in this vintage quilt, I'll put a time above where you can go directly and see who the winners from my last giveaway were. This is what I believe is a double wedding ring quilt that was made prior to 1965 by my former mother-in-law and I just put it on my bed upstairs to show it to you. This is what it looks like up close. It is all hand quilted and machine pieced. It's one of my very favorite quilts and it's one of the very first quilts that, that she gave me. And this is the back side of the quilt and you can see where she, it is hand bound. And now I would like to announce the winners of last week's giveaway. The first winner is Sandra Kaysen. Sandra, you won two Tarte palettes and the travel set of the Boom Boom Cream. Congratulations, Sandra. My second winner is Yvonne Arnold. And Yvonne, you won two Tarte palettes. Congratulations to you. And my next video is not going to be on a Sunday. The next video I have is going to be on Saturday. December 12th, and that's the collaboration with Natalie the Beauty Diva and O'Carroll from the O'Carroll Show, and it's our 20 favorites of 2020. I want to congratulate the winners and make sure you leave a comment below, and I'll let you know how to get in touch with me. It is all good. Thank you all so much for watching, for leaving a comment. I, I love to read your comments. I love it when you, when you all talk to each other. We all learn so much from each other. I will see you in my next video. Take care. I, have, I had one side of my foundation done. Nothing on my eyebrows except for hairspray. I, this is just on. And I'm going to put some so. And the 